Ja, det var en af. Ja. Ja, okay. Huh. What's happening? What's going on? Put y'all, put y'all stuff in all caps. Please. Hey. What's happening? Hey. What's going on, Leah? Hey. Hey, I can't see the name. Got what? Gotta love me. Hey, Tia. Hey, hey, Vanessa. Sleek beat. What's going on? Bless Diva. What's happening? Uh, somebody banks. What's going on? What's happening? It's going fast now, y'all. Y'all, she got to start speaking early. What's happening? Typing out. Yeah, typing all caps. Y'all see I'm blind? Miss Tia. Did you send a tracking number? If you didn't send a tracking number, we ain't looking at that. We have to have a tracking number when we go looking at the P.O. box. Hey, Ladybug. Hey, Domino. Gotta have a tracking number. Otherwise, I can't go send them on a wild goose chase. And, hey, Tawana. And I can't, they ain't finna go on a wild goose chase for me. I need a tracking number. Hello, Joyce from Indiana. Indiana. Hey, Kenya, what's going on, Kenya? Hey, Kenya. What's up, y'all? I got something to talk about today. Who sent that? Who, who sent that? Who sent the horse? Oh, Ladybug. Thank you, Ladybug. I got something to talk about today. What's going on, Red? Read somebody. I can't read the names. They, they're not putting it in all caps. Uh, Miss J all glammed up. Very pretty. Gonna always be very pretty. That's my better. What's going on, Queen? Thank you. I'm eating the same thing, Auntie. Twizzlers. What's the doctor somebody? The doctor. What's happening? What was the young lady's name today? Hmm? What was the young lady's name that we seen today? Uh, Christy, Christian. Is Christ it with the K or C? K. K? Yeah. Yeah, she, uh, she said she's gonna, uh, put a bunch of, uh, emojis in. We didn't tell the time, did we? Mm-mm. But I'm sure she, there's not a person I'm watching, so I'm sure she knows. Um, what you say? What's the topic today? When you know your own answers. When you know your own answers. When you know, when you know, just when you know, to water down. Right. Yeah, that way it's just like getting everything okay. wet. When you know your own answers, why is it important to get a confirmation on something you already know the answer to? That's what I want to know. Why do you need a confirmation on something you already know the answer to? Like, you just, you have to get that, 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 that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like from somebody else. Yeah. When you no, it's not the okay. It's the thing is, you know your own answer, right? But but you don't believe in yourself or that answer until somebody else tells you. Or sometimes they they want and they're reaching out to somebody else to get a different answer because they don't like the answer that they know that they gave themselves that they know is true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they try to get somebody else to say something different. They say they have to have something to, what, something, what? To talk about. Talk about. You want to be, be sure. sure. Of your own answer? Second guess themselves and need confirmation. Wow. Um. Or do they, or they want a, a different, different answer. answer? That's what I said. They yeah. want a different answer. Okay, so let me ask y'all this. <laughs> if, I can't even put it into, I can't even put it in the... Okay, let me say. Validation. Yeah. That's almost kind of like if somebody I say, I wonder, should I leave him? 
knowing I need to leave him because he's no good, right? Right. And I say, should I leave him? But I want but you, you to know. say, yeah, but I'm wanting you to say, nah, stay. You know what I'm saying? So some people look for a different answer as an excuse to not go with their, and then And then right. when you stay and then you get beat down and then and then you want to blame that other person. Say, well, you told me to stay, but your mind told you that you need to leave. Yeah, but you're not following your first mind because you really want to stay. Okay, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. I just want to see. I'm trying to see something. If you're with somebody, you're with somebody. Now, you got a whole relationship with somebody. And then somebody else come along that you used to talk to. Tell you all the right things that you want to hear. Now, you leave the relationship you're in. To go be with that person that told you all the right things. Hey, hey, Nikila, what's going on? And you leave that relationship that you had that we wouldn't bother nobody. Hey, and then Nikila. you go and be in another relationship with somebody that, that gave you all the right things to hear. Do y'all think that relationship going to work? I'm, I'm just trying to see something. I'm going to tell y'all my thing. I just want to see how y'all think. I'm just trying to see. Now, you in a relationship. You leave the relationship you in to go and be with another relationship because somebody told you what you wanted to hear. Okay, and then you jump up and you leave and you go. Do you expect that relationship to work? Now, let me ask you this. Do you know the answer to that question before you leave the relationship that you in? They said, they all said no. Right. And then somebody says that gut feeling is the truth, but you don't want to believe it. It's just like when you, when God talks to you. You know when God talking to you, it's just a matter of listening to what he say. That's what they're saying. They says, you know, it's a gut feeling, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to believe it. Right. Because they're going to do the same thing. Again. Exactly. That's what I say. That's what I say. Now, let me ask y'all this. What you say? They find out the grass ain't green on the other mm. side. But what people? Just, but didn't we just say that earlier? Sure. Actually, that's yes. That was the deal. That was earlier. Yeah. yeah. And I said it's still green. It's still green. How much green is green is green when it comes to grass? What kind of what kind of grass y'all looking for over there? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what kind of grass y'all looking for? Cause the grass I know is green. In, if I go outside. The green over here when i go across town it's that same damn green as grass what y'all looking for so let me ask this question <laughs> let me ask this question so if you know where you going <laughs> why are you laughing baby lady bug said grass on the other side was artificial turf <laughs> but it's still green it's the same green mm. green is green is green now let me ask y'all this. You say some grass turned brown, brown, but it's still green. Regardless of the turn, it's still green. Now, let me ask y'all this. Let me ask y'all this. Say you go over there. Now, you done left your whole relationship over here. And you went way over there. And you already had some problems with the reason, with the pop, what, what you went over there for. Hi, you, Angela. Hey, Angela. You went on that other side. All, you already knew it was some problems that you couldn't deal with when you got over there. Why would you leave your whole relationship on this side to go over there only to deal with some shit you knew you didn't want to deal with before you got there? That makes sense. Yeah. That's why I say you already know the answer to your question. So why why you put yourself in that situation? You go from bad to worse. I'm just trying to see something. Hey, Gloria. Why well, play both sides? Yeah. America Ryan, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. This other thing I don't get is why do people feel like they the only ones in the relationship? Why people don't think about that other person that they didn't jumped over, messed around, and dang it, they left feelings just because you want to be where you want to be? Why nobody think about that other person? I'm just trying to see something. Hey, Renee. I see a bunch of purple hearts, but I just say hey. Um, 
Y'all, can y'all put your stuff in all caps? Y'all saying what? They're all saying selfish. They're all saying selfish. They're saying, um, because they don't care. Selfish, which I was going to say, but I was just letting everybody say theirs. But most people are saying selfish. They're just selfish. Thinking that, uh, says what they had, not their heart. They know the right thing to do. That's lady Okay. Okay. So let me ask this question. If you know you selfish, if you know you selfish, why mm. do you need answers from somebody else? That that's what I want to know. Why do you, if you know the answer? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay. Mm. If you know, if you know the answer, y'all say selfish. Okay, so if you know the answer that you're selfish, and you know that when you get over there, it's still some problems over there that you don't want to deal with, and then you mess up your whole house that you got here to go deal with that shit you know you ain't want to deal with over there. I'm just trying to understand. Oh boy, here we go. Some people are saying, speak. you are speaking about what we should do. We get caught up and make mistakes time and time again. If you do it, if you do it time and time again, it's not a mistake, it's a behavior. Mm. Hold on. A mistake is, thank you. Mm. A, mistake, a mistake is something you, you didn't mean to do. But if you consider doing it, then it's a behavior. Thank you, baby. Um, what you trying to say? The problem is, <laughs> what problem is better? <laughs> okay. Um, seeking learn, attention, learn behavior. Yeah. Okay. Not looking for answers. What you say? Not looking for answers. Just not strong enough to make. The decision. So if you're not strong enough to make the decision, why make the decision? If you're not strong enough to make the decision, why mess up what you have here to go on with somebody that told you, but you know that there's problems over there. You already lined out what you don't want to deal with, what you deal with, and all this sort of stuff. But you're going on with what somebody that said. But not going on the actions being changed to fix whatever problem you know that's over there. Ah, uh, can I ask a question with no disrespect? Please ask a question. Please ask it. Just understand you got 170 people in here that's gonna take that ass if you say something crazy. So, um, um, a <laughs> little on them. <laughs> I mean, if you have to ask, you have to say with no disrespect, and you're about to ask something disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> Be yeah. careful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a broken spirit, and this happens because you do love themselves. What now? Uh, Dewana says they, they like that person may have changed, and they also don't love the person they're with. Now, that don't make sense, but they um, like the per. They, I guess they're thinking that that person who whispered a little something, something in their ear has changed. If you don't like the person that you're with, you should, you should, you should, you should, you should have been gone from that situation from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I said, are you thinking? What is that? Are you thinking about the person you, the person you, you would did you forget what? Okay, that okay. made my head hurt. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, Okay. Mm hmm. Let me. Okay. Let me. Let me explain something to y'all. Let me. Let me explain something to y'all. Fifty five, fifty one, and we but nine more days. We ain't judging on your education or nothing like that. But if you gonna comment, make some sense to what what because we talk about real stuff. We talk about real stuff and. It's, it's some people in here that really want to get our attention and understand where we're coming from. We got in here just to be, just be in here. Um, 
Um, you guys need to stick to the topic at hand. There's people are asking questions and it's not the topic at hand. Stick, that's why she has topics. Stick to the topic at hand. And then <laughs> if she wants you to ask questions later on, then you can ask them, okay? But stick to the topic. That's the reason why she has topics. So, I'm trying to understand them. And you know, and, and the reason why I'm having this discussion, y'all, I'm all right with people inboxing. And what's our, what you say? Are you thinking about your current love and how you felt you were in pain? This ain't got nothing to do with me. And this, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I can promise you. So, again, okay, let me, let me back up. <laughs> I don't mind y'all getting in the inbox and asking me questions on, you know, your situation or whatnot. One thing we don't do is we don't do, we ain't calling nobody back. You can send a long message. We ain't going to reply. Y'all got to understand that we don't know y'all personally. So we not going to just wake up in the morning and say, Ooh, let's see who takes us today and let's have a conversation. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. But I don't mind you sharing your story. Now, understand that once you share your story with me, I'm going to try to make some sense of it. And we're going to discuss it with... 231 people in here because I'm sure you're not the only one. Only thing I'm not doing is putting your name out there. And the thing is, is and, and you know, it's anonymous. You know, I, I ain't like that. I, you know, I got some sense and I wouldn't want nobody putting my name out there on some stuff. So, uh, you say not you. I'm saying before you hurt someone, remember how the pain fit. Say that because you had me all miscombobulated <laughs> over here. And so some people they can get in your inbox, <laughs> and if there's a topic that you want her to address, then you can say, "Can you know your next topic be this, this, you know, and blah, it. blah, blah?" Because I'm dealing with something right. close to that. Right. But for you to write damn near almost like three or four pages, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying, I read it. I read it. But, but hey, by the time you get to it, we're, I mean, the respond, <laughs> it would have been just going back and forth. That's one thing it's that too much we, back and forth. We, we, we don't do. You can inbox. You can inbox her. I'm going to read what you send her. She's going to read what you send me. Yeah. And you send these long stories and say, oh, well, I just want y'all to respond. Okay, first we're of all, we're not going to respond because we're not, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not like this with you guys. We're you not therapists on time. We're not licensed therapists. <laughs> we can only tell you from experiences. That's why we'd rather get everybody together yeah. so that we're, we everybody can, all can talk give about their, their opinion and nobody can say, well, Miss J said and Swing tried yeah. to say this and yeah, we ain't doing witness. that. Yeah, we ain't so, doing that. We ain't doing that. So everything's addressed here in the live. Y'all, we regular people. We regular people, okay? <laughs> but the topic for those of you that just jumped in, the topic is when you know. When you already know your own answer. Mm -hmm. You already know your own answer. Why do you need confirmation? Why do you need confirmation on your own answer? Hey, uh, 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 uh. Um, yes, Mish, that is. A lot of folks be yeah. trying to just get folks to answer. You right. Yeah, no, and we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We'll see it, and we'll see it, and we'll delete it. You know, um, what you say? I don't know. It, it's because of how some people write and type. Uh, no, I'm still seventeen ninety four short from a from a chair. Swing, what you say, Swing, you ain't regular. All them faces you be making. Yes, I am. Um, so I, I, when I got the message, it, it was okay to talk about it. It's just I knew that you know we needed to all have a discussion because we all have done it. Mm -hmm. Went back to somebody that you know damn well ain't no damn good. We all have done it. I, I, mm, I be the first to, to say I did. So, <laughs> say sometimes take a couple of times. Yeah, but <sighs> that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got. My 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 question is: <sighs> Do you consider yourself a strong person? 
Or do you feel yourself not a strong person to where you need somebody to make the decision for you? At what point do you make the decision for yourself to say, this is my decision, this is what I'm going to do, and that's just going to be that? I mean, I see 17-year-olds asking that question or, um, you know, 20-year-olds. But when you're in your 40s and your 50s and you're trying to figure out should you and should you not and you know better, I'm just trying to... Uh, uh, but what, you, what, what can you say? Because you say you, do you consider yourself a strong person. Yeah. I mean, can we actually say that... Oh. Not everybody is a strong person. Right, that's why I said. So, yeah, so, I, I, I changed it after yeah, that. Yeah, so um, maybe they're not strong enough to make them decisions and second guess themselves. I don't know, but do you be what you would think? With that, with that being said, yes. if you're not strong enough to make that decision, why make that decision? If you're not strong enough to make that decision, then don't jump your ass out there and go do it. True, true. I'm not... Uh, if you're not strong enough and confident enough to make the decision that you're making, don't get up and go go do what you're not strong enough to do. And then want to blame it on somebody else and say, well, they told me I can do it and then it don't work. Well, they said it was going to work. No. Well, you're right. Age doesn't mean maturity. However, uh, would lo- I would like to think, but it, it don't go for everybody. <laughs> Age goes part. with, uh, plays a big part because you have been through a lot of experiences but then at the same time, some people haven't. Yeah. But, you know, so you just got to make your best judgment as to, you know. They're afraid to be alone. What does that have to do with them? They don't have nothing to do with it. They don't. And you know what? If you're afraid to be alone, um, do what my mama told me to do. Get a dog. Dogs can be your best friend. But don't get out there and go do something that you have no earthly idea that you could lose you have more to lose than you do to gain. Let's see. As, is it Donato 20 says, sometimes you have weak moments or moments where feelings cloud your judgment. Now, weak moment would be you wasn't supposed to get a burger. You're on a diet. You wasn't supposed to get a burger. You, <laughs> and then you went and got a burger. That's a weak moment. Okay? Yeah, she really talking about getting, food when I'm hungry yeah, I'm right just now. saying getting something that you know you wasn't supposed to, but to get into a relationship. That's not a weak moment to go and get into a relationship that you know you... It's not good for you that you don't need to be in. That's not a weak moment. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not going to accept that answer. And, and I tell y'all this. I tell y'all this. I used to be a person that didn't like being by myself. My mama told me to get a dog. And I didn't want to have no dog. And so what I learned to do was to be by myself. And what I learned was being by yourself is so much peace. It is so much peace. Being by yourself, then dealing with somebody that don't have respect for you and the house that you provide for. Hmm. I'd rather have my peace than, than, than to... i just rather have my peace. I, That's what I'm saying. I, is there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. lonely. And see, I was lonely. <laughs> I, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't like being... No, no, no. I didn't like being alone. Right. I didn't like being by myself. Mm-hmm. Because you I, can still be with somebody and still feel be lonely. Be lonely, yes. Yes. I didn't like being by myself. And the situation became, the thing with me was, I was just, you know, as long as somebody was in the house, I didn't care what was going on. And then I'm like, no, mm-mm, this don't sit well with me. No, this ain't right. And I learned how to be by myself. And when I learned how to be by myself, then I understood what peace was. You know, Waking up in the house with all kind of chaos and chaotic stuff going on, children running everywhere, lights popped on, ain't nobody working but you, and you know, and and just, (laughs) I'm just trying to understand. Exactly. Me says, exactly. Peace cannot, peace cannot put a price on peace of mind and sanity. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize what peace, I didn't realize that you, you... Man, I didn't know nothing about that kind of peace I was dealing with. <laughs> I didn't. I, you know, to wake up and be comfortable and know ain't nobody running up and down the, in the house and mm-hmm. running around the car. Ain't nobody knocking at the door. You ain't got all these people that cheering. You don't know because they cheering. You don't know. You ain't got all this stuff going on when you by yourselves. I don't, I don't know. You just have to worry about self. <laughs> yeah. And people couldn't understand that about me, but I used to be like, you know, 
I liked my peace and quiet. Right, right. Love peace and quiet. Yes. And so it's okay to be with somebody, but be with somebody that you're compatible with and that you have a lot of things in common. Don't just be with somebody just to be with somebody just because you don't want to be by yourself. I learned that shit the hard way and lost and lost a lot of things and bought a whole lot of sense because of that situ those I'm gonna say those situations. Yeah, I put an S on that. I, <laughs> yeah, I, it was a it was a behavior for me. Mm-hmm. Accepting accepting you know bad behavior bad. Uh, disrespect, all that stuff. Stuff that I knew I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't raised to to to, to let people stump or stump on me and talk to me crazy and not stand up for myself. So for you was dealing with that just for the sake of not being being by, by myself. Yourself. Yeah. So that's the price you had to pay. Yes, that was that fool my mama was talking about. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. But if you're in a relationship and, and things didn't work out and y'all, you know, y'all getting back together and, and under, y'all separated and y'all understood what well, both of y'all messed up and y'all bringing it back together to, to yeah, you got it? And y'all bringing it back together to, to rectify what you, what y'all, where y'all messed up, then yeah, you be together. But... If y'all getting back together and ain't you ain't changed and he, and he ain't changed or you ain't changed and she ain't changed, y'all wasting y'all time. Y'all y'all wasting time, money, and and with foolishness going on. And I'm just saying. <laughs> so <laughs> baby girl says I didn't know I was lonely until I got divorced and seen how much life I missed. Peace. That's that peace you talking about. Yep. Yeah, that's that peace. Ain't nothing like ain't nothing like that peace, baby. I didn't realize it was that type, that kind of peace. This is peace right here. <laughs> what, what is that peace surpasses all understanding? <laughs> um. So I'm just I'm I'm I'ma say again. I'm blessed. I'm I'm blessed. I am blessed. And it took for me. To realize my worth, it took me to understand that I came in here and I had to want it for myself. Can't nobody else want it for me. I had to want that peace for myself. And when I did it, I didn't think I could do it. And I was like, wow. And what I started doing, let me tell y'all what I started doing. So when I didn't want to be by myself, I started doing stuff in the house. I wasn't never a picture hanger. Let me tell you about my mom. Let me tell my mom. <laughs> my mama would say, you're not comfortable where you live. I said, mama, why you say that? She said, because you ain't got a picture in the house hung up. I said, huh? She said, when you enjoy where you live, you invest in your, your house. I started hanging up shit. <laughs> I ain't sure that, but y'all see, you got, you got pictures all over there. You... It didn't make sense until she told it to me, you know, until she said, you know, you when you're not comfortable, you're just going to have bare white walls. I didn't have a picture in sight. She said, like, like right now, she'll say, you're not comfortable coming in the house. And I said, well, mama, why you say that? Not not now. She said a couple of years ago, maybe, maybe five, six years ago. And I said, why you say that? She said, because when you come to the house, you don't take your shoes off. I never thought of it that way. And she said, yeah, you take your shoes off when you're comfortable. At other people's house? Yeah. When a person makes you feel welcome and you know you're going to be there for hours. That's that's basically what she was saying. You know, because some people don't want you to walk around in their house with shoes on. And and she told me Mm -hmm. that. And and she she told me, she said, when you come here, you you don't take your shoes off. That means you ain't going to stay long. I was like... My mom be playing mind tricks on me. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I agree somewhat, but then I don't agree with but that. But not everybody. You're I mean, right, yeah. I mean, I get what she was saying, yeah. but being that this is a small so, town so and everybody's he, family. So, okay. So, even, like, with you, like, when she was saying with you, with the pictures and, and stuff, how she said that, you know, you didn't. I wasn't going to stay there long. With the pictures. Yeah. And so, that's almost kind of like, you don't have to look like you feel. So that was showing how you felt 
here. Right. Empty. It, it actually shows it, it, yeah. within your home. Right. Right. Man, so 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 what I started doing was I started investing into the house. Mm -hmm. You know, I did the clock. I did the, the pictures. I put the pictures on the wall. I did the, you know, graffiti writing. I started, mm -hmm. you know, I started doing stuff. And then I realized, damn, I'm comfortable at home now. Didn't realize I'm by mm -hmm. myself. And then I started playing my game or, or talk on the phone or watch a favorite TV show. And I was like, a little bit. why did it take me to 50 to understand that this is what peace is all about? <laughs> but, but at least, but at least, at least you got it. Some people don't get it. At 50, don't, don't no. waste your life. Don't waste your whole life on you something. It. You got it. And not listening. I, I'm almost 55. I'm living my truth. And whoever don't like it, bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you know, and that's the thing that people have to realize. Nobody has an answer for you but you. But you yeah. Nobody lives your life but you. Nobody can tell you how to live your life. They're, they sure not worried about how you feel about them living theirs. Yeah. So live your life according to how you want to live it. Yeah, yeah. I just hate that. You know, and the stuff my mom would tell me. I was so rebellious, y'all. I was so rebellious and I was going through a lot. I was going through a lot. And so when when your parent is trying to tell you something and you're going through so much, you're not trying to hear what she's saying. I wasn't trying to hear what she was saying. And my mom said, like, first, she ain't going to force nothing on you. She going to say, hey, I told you. Or, hey, I'm going to let you hit your head. Okay, go hit your head. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing we didn't do. We didn't fight. We didn't cuss. We didn't, you know, you know we, she just didn't raise us that way. She let us make our own dis choices and decisions. And then we'll come back, you know. And then the thing is about my mama, she ain't going to tell you what to do. She's going to tell you, she's going to give you avenues. That's what she's going to do. She's going to give you avenues. Like, it, like if I say, man, I showed not, if I say, I'll say something like, uh, what is it I wanted? What is, what is it that I asked for last? Okay, the, the, the massage chip. Mm -hmm. Let me use the massage chip. <laughs> it's things that I want, like the massage chip. Now she got it. She ain't finna give it to me. She gonna give me. She gonna tell me what I need to do to get it. She gonna tell me different ways of, of financing and stuff to get it. She ain't. My mom said her. She ain't finna go get it for you. You see what I'm saying? And so that's her way of teaching you a lesson. Well, back in my twenties, I wouldn't think that she go look. Hey, hi, <laughs> hey, that she go. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Christy. Christy. That, hey, Christy, thank you for uh, posting us, though. We, we enjoy talking to you at the table. You just, you just bubble us all up today. <laughs> but mom, her way of teaching us, you know, things, it wasn't to, it wasn't, she just never repeated herself. If she told you once, she ain't going to say it again. At the, at the, and, and I just hate that I spent 50 years not listening because I was so rebellious because I was going through something. I was going through something and I was always the type of person, whatever I was going through, I put it on me. It was nobody else's responsibility to deal with whatever I was dealing with but me. So her being my parent, I didn't tell her exactly what was going on with me. All she saw was I was being rebellious. And, and you know, well, she don't want to listen, so I'm going to let her get out there and bump her head. I bumped my head a couple of times. I got a couple of knots right there. I got one right there. <laughs> ah, but um, that's, that's, the way, that's the reason why I say the topic. When you know your own answer. You know your own answer. So, I didn't. It just comes with maturity. That's all it is. Uh, you know, um, and experiences. You know, like you live and you it's learn. It's hard but, lessons, though, but man. But that's, that's life. It's hard. That shit is that shit. And it still feel like it happened yesterday. Yeah. That's the thing. It still feel like it happened yesterday to where it hurt. And I feel like I didn't waste a majority of my life on things that she was already telling me when I was 25. I can't go back and get that. I can't go back and, and change any of that. But that, 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 that's, 
that goes for all of us though i mean because you know when you when you're that young you think you know everything you ain't trying to hear you know that's why i always say i try to when we did that one topic where i said if you can if you what you know now you could change and if you know what you know now and you was 20 years old what would you tell your 20 year old self listen to your mama you know baby so, listen to your mama yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if she's still here listen to your mama Listen to your mom. That's all I can say. And and the thing is with me, y'all, you know, I never had my father in my life. So my mom was all, you know, I, I had at first advice, you know. Now, I understand I had my stepdad, but I wasn't trying to hear him. I didn't even like him. I, mm, shit. <laughs> so, you know, my mom is my whole existence because... That's what I, I, but I wasn't listening because I was going through my own little things. I was going through my, what am I saying, babe? It's a bunch of, it, did it stop? Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, you know, like, um, that's when I said that uh, you can't learn from other people's, they say, she said, I say you can't learn from other people's mistakes when you're young, but now, but now we like, damn, you know, because, you know, when people can tell you all day long, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know how the older people talk to you when we And then when they come up on you, yeah. you're like, damn. That's what they was talking about. Yeah, I should have listened. Yeah, or, it's, it's, it's life. And that's just all part of, that's why I just say it's life. So yeah. don't, don't beat yourself up because saying that you, well, I should have listened to my mom, but I was going through everybody everybody had their own experiences everybody went through some stuff some people went through some stuff harder than others right however we all went through some shit right. we all got some shit with us it's just different shit it's so different shit. and it all smelled different so it's just a <laughs> some, yeah some linger longer than others <laughs> but 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 you know what it's just a matter of learning from it some people don't learn you're saying well why did it take till i'm 50 you're looking at the number just look at it as you got it yeah, you, you got it. I got. I finally got it. Yeah, I got you it. Got it. You know, so. I, man, I man, look here, <laughs> man, look here. I, I, and I still got some more stuff to learn. Absolutely. You know, it's some stuff I still haven't never dealt with. You know, that I'm probably gonna have to deal with. But you know, I find, I got somebody with me that helped me along the way of the things that I don't know. You know, oh, uh, whew, don't make me cry. <laughs> I'm just <different. laughs> you get all emotional. Yeah, make me say that the next week. Make, make me, yeah, make me all fluttery on the inside and things. Um, I don't know. So you know, all I'm saying is you, you know your own answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all don't, still learning. Don't that. second guess yourself. Don't second guess yourself. Trust in what your spirit tell you. I'm going to say it again. I don't care what kind of life you live. I don't care what kind of life you live. If you got a prayer life and you believe in the most high, I'm just, I'm just telling you from experience. If you have a prayer life and you believe in the most high, whatever you're thinking, don't second guess yourself because your spirit ain't going to lie to you. If your spirit is telling you one thing, that's what you need to go with. And, and understand that it's going to come, the, the understanding of it is going to come later. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to understand it right now. But later you're going to be like, now I get it. Mm -hmm. Now I get it. But you have to have a prayer life. You have to have a relationship with him on your own. Not, not have a relationship with me, her, and him. Or me, my mom, and my brother, and my sister, and him. Right. It's a relationship with just you and him. So whenever you have a decision to make and you take it up with him, your spirit ain't gonna lie to you. It's gonna make you feel if you make if you make a move, it's gonna, your spirit gonna ship you, and then you are gonna know for yourself that that ain't what you're supposed nope. to do. Yeah, that move wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go by that. That's why I always tell people go, yeah. by, go by that 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 gut feeling. A lot of people don't go by the first instinct because yeah. you know how we always look back. We be like. Something told me I should have, you know. So yeah. you always go go by that. Yeah. Go by yeah. that. Don't second guess yourself. So Yeah. Yeah. And I and I've done it a couple of times me where too. I second guess myself and be like, Yeah, does it man see my spirit told me don't do that, man. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pay the consequences right. of the actions that you chose to go by, do whatever it is that you knew that you weren't supposed to do. 
So I'm just saying, y'all, y'all thought I was playing. See, see, she don't know about the the discipline and the, you know, the rice and the books in the hand and and you know and the I know the about switches. Dis- I know about, know about discipline because my dad was a military man, how a very strict man. But as far as doing his daughters like that, we to me that's torture. That's mean. <laughs> but you gotta understand, baby, you had both parents in the house. I understand. Well, when you have one parent in the house, you get dealing with five children or maybe three. So kids. Well, 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 you got one parent in the house, you got five kids. So you say, look, okay, everybody, get the rice. Get the rice. <laughs> No. Instead of get the belt, y'all talking about get the rice. Yeah. And if we ain't got no rice, get the grit. Somebody give me the grit. <laughs> that'll yes. make sense. That'll make that, sense that's what me. happened. That's what I mean. You know, one get the belt, and then you know because you know back then discipline to us is abuse to people now, but it didn't. Kill. I, don't, I don't find I don't find that that abuse. I just think that it was torture to have you. <laughs> I can't even imagine when she told me when we were talking about that last time we got off live. I was like. Who does that? Who says kneel down in the corner and on so many All nights? I'm saying is I bet you won't you won't whatever it is you did, if you get up from out that corner on that rice, you ain't gonna go do what you did no more. But okay, can I ask a question though? <laughs> but isn't that what the belt is for though? No, the belt, yeah, you sometimes because you go light on the belt. Yeah, and sometimes not 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 John Ross. <laughs> and, I, and I'm just saying, I'm yeah. just saying, you know, we get smart, have on two pairs of shorts and a pair of jeans. You know, and then, 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 then you know, people get old. They can't be swinging like that. You know, so no, they gonna get, they gonna get your way and hurt. They gonna let you endure your own pain by yourself. So yeah. Let me see how much grits we got. <laughs> huh? What? I said I need to see how much grits we got. So when she's misbehaving, <laughs> I can put her in the corner on some. Grits. That was me back in the day. That was me back in the day. And then get them switches and and, t- and turn them up and things and. <laughs> yeah, you just won't do that shit no more. I'm just saying, I I didn't. So so you you had to you had to go out and get your own switch. Yeah. And so would you get the smallest switch? If you if I got the smallest switch, then she, she'll say if I got, if you come back here with a smaller switch, if you come back here with a smaller switch, and I got to go out there and get it, you ain't gonna be happy. So why didn't you get smart and come back with like a whole limb or something? I mean, I'm just saying because, something. Because because if she had to go outside to get it. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want feel good. It's best for me to get it than for her to go get it. Come on, y'all. Yeah, I know I ain't by myself. But I know, but either way, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. So it, whether she get it or I get it, it's gonna hurt. So I'm gonna go let you go. But no, baby, you're I'm, missing the whole principle. No. <laughs> you're What's missing the, the whole principle. What's the principle? You, it's gonna hurt. Exactly. But it's better if so. You don't want her to go outside and get five switches. I'd rather go outside and get her two that she asked for, for than for her to go get. You five. gotta go get two. Yeah. Why you had to go get two? Cause you gotta twist them up. Do what now? You gotta twist them. You gotta twist them. You twist them together. Yeah. Oh, no, but okay. <laughs> so when she hit that, that should left whelps on you, like whelps. Yeah. So how long did it take for you? I'm sorry. Well, no, it's I not. Just... No, baby, understand. Back in the day, us being disciplined, it wouldn't abuse. Back no, no, then. I'm not asking about the abuse. I'm just saying, though, how long did it take for that to heal? I'm just saying. Well, I mean, she ain't trying to kill me, me, you know. She hit you hard enough to know it's like, my God, but she'll pinch you all over here. When when you grab me right here and I say, baby, don't do that to me. And that shit be hurting. And you be like, that's the softest part yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. You got a lot of Yeah, fat that's why right I mean, a lot of meat right there. Sorry. <laughs> it's fluffy right there. Yeah, that that's shit awful. hurt. Yeah. That, that hurt. But, but it feels good to me. So when they grab you and they pinch you real hard, when you're in I've church? I've been pinched. I've been pinched. Yeah. But most of the time, I've been, my dad would just get the belt, and then we got of age where my mom was saying no. Uh, so then we got grounded. Oh, okay. So I'd give anything to be grounded. <laughs> we didn't get grounded. We got our ass to work. Then sit you in some cold water. Yes! So y'all understand. What? Wait a minute. Why? Cold water helped right. help, help heal it. It helped heal it. Oh, so they know they was wrong. They, no, they, it's not wrong. No. That's what Jesse just meant. It's not it. wrong. You're saying that they said, why would they sit you in cold water? I mean, come on now. No, no, no. I'm asking. Why would they sit you in cold water? I mean, you know, nobody wants their child to just be hurting, but they want us to learn the lesson. Nobody wants to want to see their child. No mother wants to see a child hurt. But at the same time, 
You have to get your ass. I'm like, they put you through this torture, and then what they do is they bandage you up and fix you to get ready for that, when you to be tortured same. some that's more. It. No, that no, that's because the child don't want to lie, don't want to listen. She don't get it. She don't get it. <laughs> I'm glad I was grounded. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You, you, hey, and you constantly get out there and keep doing things. That's like little boy. Not it. I got a gun pulled on me. Yes, mommy and mommy and play that hand. <laughs> but I'm just I'm just saying, baby. It's just what people call abuse today is why children are the way they are now because can't nobody put a switch to their butt. I mean, there's a oh, difference between right. whooping your the, there's a the difference, corner. I know, but there's a difference between whoop, you can whoop your child. No, I ain't but, say I got beat. No, I ain't okay, I'm just saying there's a difference between whooping your child and when when, when kid, kids are kids are talking about even just getting a regular whooping. You know that's abusive. So, there ain't nothing wrong with whooping your child. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. I tell you what, when you don't want to get your tail whooped by a switch or a belt or a sensor car or a hand, my you gotta say old school moms back in in out there in the hood, where, where you know away from the suburb, <laughs> <laughs> they hit you with whatever was around. Yeah, that, that's what it was. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Because I know my cousin, she'll say like, say like a smart. shoe. Her mom would throw a shoe at her, you know, or something like that. My cousin would say, I'm like, a shoe? What those shoes? A jar, a shoe, uh, a hairbrush, a comb. No, my mom didn't do a that. A book, anything that was in in in, in uh on in Lent. Yeah, yeah. And and good aim too, or you swear mm -hmm. they played tennis and baseball. Race car track. <laughs> what do they do with a race car track? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Some some of everybody know what I'm talking about. A razor strap. That's one of those ones you do like this. The razor you sharpen the razor on. You got to whoop them with that. No. But you don't do what they were not doing no more. Huh? I I tell you, if 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 people would whip their children like we got our tail beat, we wouldn't have so much. Now don't get me wrong. My dad, when he whoop you, he named his belt heavy. Then you didn't want to go get heavy. He made you go get it. So which means that means you understand. I understand, but I, I mean I understand getting a whooping, but not with no switch it's and the tying same, it together. It's the same thing. The same. It's not the same thing getting in the corner on, on some grits. I'm sorry. No. So you wouldn't rather get on some grits than you rather. A belt? I, I got grounded. No, I'm saying you rather a belt as opposed to getting on your knees. I'd rather get on my knees and get hit okay, with a belt. What, what time did you stop getting like? Doing getting it because see, I, I stopped getting whoopings at eight. I was, I think I got my last woman was at 10 or 11. Okay, see, I started getting grounded. It's like 10 or 8 years old and up. I started getting grounded, I didn't get whoopings. But see, mine was my whoopings came from from um, of what I was going through, mm -hmm. and they didn't understand, so huh. they thought I was being rebellious. Okay, well, I was being rebellious, but my mine was acting out that that was my acting out. Boy, I tell you, you know what, that's why I always say people grow up different. Yeah. You can't always assume people grow up the same way that you and no no there's no there's no right. I or had wrong. knees on, on rice and had to hold the Bible up. Yep. I mean let's Yep. And don't you bet not that if I see it come down, I'm gonna tear your ass up with this belt. So how long you get to hold it like that? that until you did till we hey, till we got it un, an understanding on whatever we did, we weren't gonna do it no more. Better not put them hands oh, down. Lord. Better not put them. And then if you're on your knees and then you kind of sit back and then you kind of relax your butt on your heel, let them catch you on your heels and watch what happened. You in the corner for another 30 minutes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then it went from whoopings to pinching. And, and you know, when you're in church and you're on, and they tell you to be quiet in church and you're still talking, they grab no, that too. And then they turn and just my twist. Mom, my mom pinched me. She got the little bitty, little pieces of the skin. Yeah. Oh, man. And then they grab you. They grab you in the back right there and they pinch you right there. And you, ooh, boy, that. Woo, shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I know I ain't the only one. <laughs> like I said, it, I mean, my mom pinched me in church. But then I would, I mean, say, I would say, ow. And then say you pinch me because my my mom's mom was sitting right next to, to let my so let my granny know. So you were selling on your mom? Yeah. See, see, that's why she stayed grounded. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, hey, what didn't kill me, you know, made me stronger. You know, um, 
And I was a bad kid. I was a bad kid. I was going through something. That was my way of acting out instead of, you know, like babies. Babies can't tell you what's wrong. They get to hollering and screaming until you figure out what's wrong. You know, but you know better, you do better. <laughs> It's just still tripping, y'all. No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> hey, we all grow up different. Like I said, it's not like I didn't get whoopings. I got whoopings. My dad made us stand in the corner. Yeah, he made us stand in the corner. So he, he known it. He but knew. I mean, all that. He just wasn't hard enough on you because y'all were, gir we were, were girls. girls. And, and, my, and, plus and my you mom, had both parents. And my mom wasn't. She wasn't gonna allow that to happen because she she used to tell him stuff like, you know, you don't want to, you know, spank them because mm -hmm. of. You know, female issues, blah blah blah. And he fell for it. So after eight years old, he wasn't whooping us. He would just ground us because he didn't okay. know. So, so she, so the master manipulated, manipulated the master <laughs> manipulation. Okay, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. bad. Just misunderstood. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You ever got your your mom ever popped you in the mouth for being smart? The only thing my mom ever done to me was pinch me. My mom's never whooped me. She never whooped us. She just pinched us. That's it. Well. I popped in the mouth. I never was just now. Nah, now nah, that's something I can say. I never, I never been um, disrespectful. I've never been disrespectful. Mm -hmm. How you see me with my mama today is mm -hmm. how I've always been. Mm -hmm. So I've never been. Isn't it uh, ultimately about teaching accountability and boundaries? Mm -hmm. then, yes. Yeah. No. I mean. Yeah. I. It depends on what you're being punished for. I mean, my yeah, but you, you, you guys ain't right accountability. A, my son got hit with a phone book, a cordless phone, uh -huh. a house shoe. Big boy caught it, caught it big thing. Yeah, <laughs> but you got to do that with them boys, though. So in your mind, no, I ain't never, that, I never was I heard about that. I, I heard never, about kids, but kids would only get that, that talk back uh, yeah. or we would never use bad words. And we didn't, yeah. we didn't do that. But baby, when I learned I how to back cuss, in my head. when I learned how to cuss, let me tell you, let me tell you this story. <laughs> so I was in, uh, I had to been like in the sixth or seventh grade. And my mom had a best friend that had cousins and stuff that go to the same school. Well, I got into it with somebody and I don't know what it was, but I was cussing up a storm. And I kept calling her at the, that's why I don't like the word B today. I kept, I, this is what, let me tell you why I don't like the word B today. So I kept calling that girl, be, be this and be that and I would be this. And the girl said, I'm going to tell your mama, you out here calling people bees. So I said, tell my mama. I don't care. I remember I was little. I was a little bony thing. I thought about this big. And so by the time I got home, my mama said, so, hmm, I heard you be calling people bitches. <laughs> And I just immediately froze because I said, you know, I found out later how she found out. But she said, call me a bitch. Mm, I ain't going to call you that. She said, ah, I want to hear how you said it. <laughs> I don't know, mm, mama, I can't say it. She said, yo, no, you're going to say it. I want to hear. She said, so you out there calling people bees and things. Baby, when I tell you, my mama told my tail. Oh, that's why I don't call people bees today. That's why, that's why I don't say the word B today. That's why. You ain't know that story, huh? Nah, it, you don't have to give me a reason why. It's just that it's not a word you need to be saying anyway. I'm just saying yeah. that is the reason why I don't use it. I don't like it when people address each other as, as B's. I just, I just don't. That was, a, that was an ass whooping that I never forget. And that was with a belt. I ain't calling out nobody Tell else. forget them belt whoopings. <laughs> She's telling y'all. But see, mom, when you gotta understand, at that time, my mama didn't hit just one spot. When she got you wherever she hit you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm just saying. So that's the reason why I don't use the word B. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That belt, it wasn't them grits. It wasn't that rice. It was well, no, belt. Not, that That part was my godmother. Yeah, but side. you remember that, though. No, I'm saying my godmother, my godmother punished one way. My mom used the belt. Nah, that, yeah, my godmother was all that other stuff. But I'm just saying, <laughs> you don't use that word because of that belt whooping. Oh, yeah, no, it was, it don't, not, it's not because of the belt whooping, mm -hmm. it's because of how it, it got back to my mom. Like I say, I don't disrespect my mom. Mm -hmm. And my mom was always taught us, you are a representation of me when you leave the house. Mm -hmm. So when it got back, it, it hurt me more that she knew. 
than it did the, the belt whooping. She was wanting you to do it. <laughs> she's going to so, tear that ass up even more. <laughs> She didn't play that. Yeah, oh, she didn't play that. Do it. I want you to. Yeah, I, I never forget that. And I ain't like that girl after that. I said, you just had to. When I went back to school that night, I said, you just had to go tell on me. And then you went back running your mouth some more. I didn't say the B word. I know. I can't get in trouble for it. I know that, but you went back running your mouth, so you I, was bad. I did not tell you. I you should have been my friend. You would have been all right. <laughs> you would have been all right. My my aunt lined everybody up and whooped them. My mom punished rather than give a beating. Okay. Then have a beating. Okay. Well. And then she lined everybody up? Whoa. Man. That's, I mean, those were the days. That's all I can say. In my we house, if one get a whooping, we all got Yeah, that's how it was at my government house. Why? Why we all got to get it because nobody told on nobody, you. Nobody, nobody, uh, if if my godmother asked who did, who did something uh, and nobody told on everybody, then everybody got to Okay, I can get that. And if 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 we decide to tell after she didn't say it that we all gonna get a whooping, we still all got a whooping. See, <laughs> no, I didn't have to go through that because if anything went down, nobody had to ask who did it. They all knew that I did it. Just bad. I wouldn't because bad because my sister never done anything. She basically stayed to herself and in her room. So if anything went down, they knew that Jay did it. Just bad ass. Just bad ass. See? I told you didn't call me renegade for nothing. <laughs> so, but, um. Stop, stop. That's why I did it with the. Stop. I'm trying to tell you. No, because see? Look. See how I did it? Yeah, I was trying to see if I had some red on That's what I just said. I <laughs> Somebody say snitches get, get snitches get stitches. Yeah, see right there? You'll see where she had a couple right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. I was bad. Miss J, did you get whooping one? Miss J, two? did you get... Not... I, look, Miss How many? How many did you I got whoopings. I can't count. I got whoopings. I was... My sister got a whooping one time. <laughs> I got whoopings all the time because, like I said, if anything was done, that's why my dad named me Renegade. I'm three years younger than my sister, and I always was in trouble. So, mm -hmm. I got whoopings. Which I had, um, stacks I had cousins that, oh. that cried so hard before the beating, but <laughs> she got out of it. Wow, my mom waited till we went to sleep, and then she gave us a beat. Yeah, I we had that too. Where they woke you up? Yeah. Well, I, we was I all was bad. No, what happened was, that, that was my godfather one. What happened was, my godmother went to work. Mm -hmm. And she told us she was going to call us to get up. And so she put the phone right where we can hear it, where the phone was ringing. And nobody got up to get it. And then my godfather came from around the, I think out of the house. Yeah. The story, Baby yeah. came in there. He, told, he, he slang that belt every which way he could. He slang that belt. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he slang that belt. Everybody was hopping everywhere. <laughs> That's, you know, back in the day, it's when everybody was sleeping in the bed. One was at the top, the other one was on the side, one was in the middle, you know, and the other one was at the foot of the bed. You know, y'all know, you know, we had, from the hood ties, you know, she was from the suburbs, you know. She ain't had to shut up bed with nobody. <laughs> oh, shit. But, yeah. <laughs> so, y'all, back to what we were saying. Uh, when you know your own answers, when you know your own answers, I asked the questions, uh, did you get whooping by both parents? Did you No. Me? My mom didn't whoop me. Um got whooped in the shower. Um No, we didn't get whooped in the, while we were in the tub. No. Since my mom used to tell me wait wait till your wait till your dad come home. That's yeah. what my mom used to do. Yeah, so. we didn't get whooping while we were in the in the tub. So Yeah, that sounds like that would hurt. Yeah, it would. I I mean I I whooped children like that. I have. I said, I like the edge of the bed. The middle was hot. Yes. So you understood. You understood. We had we had about four in the bed, one up under the bed, one at the foot of the bed on the floor. So yeah, <laughs> those were the days. So um, oh man, those were the days. It was you know, it, you got a lot of bad days, but they have a lot of good memories too. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you know wouldn't. Good memories at the time, but when you look back at it, I mean, yeah, back, you, can laugh. You, you, miss, you miss you your can cousins, laugh. yeah, you miss your cousins and stuff because the people that you grew up with, you don't even talk to. That's the only thing that I don't like about you know, 
my past is that I'm not close to everybody that I grew up with. So everybody just kind of scattered out, you know, and had to learn that, you know, people become their own person. Right. When they get families of their own, people venture off, they move, yeah, you yeah. know, and... Yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of like that uh that that thing when that that guy was saying mm -hmm. the, the thumb it represents your family mm -hmm. and your friends and you know and it's, but they say try to you know do that thing that you can't separate it. That's that's why the ring is on the fourth finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, what age did you get put out the house? Sixteen. Sixteen. Again, I was rebellious. I was bad and. Didn't want to listen. Well, thought I was wrong. Sending prayers. Huh? Just trying to say brothers and sisters. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's over here. And I got out the house. I was nineteen. Eight, yeah, eighteen or nineteen years yeah. old when I got out the house. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so yeah, that's all I had today was to talk about when you know your own answer. When you know your own answer, don't leave what you got. To go deal with something you know. On a what if. Yeah. Because somebody didn't whisper sweet nothing's in your damn ear and you know better. You know, no. You if you know that person over there got a child that don't like you, why would you leave your house where you at to go live with somebody you know don't like you? Um, did either of you go to college? So yeah. Yeah, I can't I went to college in Texas. Yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. graduate college, but <laughs> I went to college. You know, um, I did. And actually, what I did is I went to, um, I was going to go to uh, North Texas State, but then I decided to go to Brookhaven, which was just a community college because I really didn't care to go to college. So I went for two years and that was it. Yeah. So I did go. I didn't graduate, but I went. So it's not uh, for everyone. Not for everyone. So that, that's, that, you know, I just. I just want people to under to to take in consideration of making better decisions, you know, mm -hmm. and not base your decision on what somebody else tell you. Mm -hmm. Go on what you say to yourself or what what's best for you. Do it for what's best for you, not what's best for the relationship or best for that person. Do what's best for you and your kids, because some of, some people got uh, um single parents out here mm -hmm. do what's best for your child but don't ever don't put your child in a situation you're gonna have to find yourself trying to find your way out of it and the only person who knows what's best for you is you yeah and if you got to leave let me tell you i'm just to be honest if you leave a situation with somebody to go be with somebody else that relationship is not going to work it's going to it however you leave a person is, is how you're going to lo lose that person However you leave a person is how you're going to lose a person. July the 26th, so she's a Leo. And then December 26th, I'm a Capricorn. My birthday is in nine days, y'all. <laughs> and I'm praying for my massage chair. I got, I got 705 donated so far. And 17.94 short. But, you know... My, my birthday in nine days. I get like a big kid when my birthday come around. Big kid. So, I, I'm i trying. I'm trying, Miss Turner. I can't say that it's be, you know, I'll get it because it costs too much. I wouldn't put that on anybody. So, I don't want to put that amount of money on one person. So, um, that's my whole reason for reaching out and telling everybody what I want instead of sending me what you think. You know, I'll be 51. I'll be 51. So, Miss J, you plan anything yet? She ain't gonna tell me. Look, I can't plan nothing with her around. <laughs> and I'm always around. <laughs> I mean, I, listen. I'm always it's probably around. It's just gonna be one of those, you know, you play it. Play by it, year. Like, yeah, by yeah. year and, and see how it goes. And yes. So. Uh, yeah. Best day of my day is the 23rd. And my partner is a Capricorn. So you already know. <laughs> it's going to be a bittersweet day. Like I said, it's, it's, it's going to be a bittersweet day. Because, like, again, I lost my father on the 23rd. And uh, my brother buried him on my birthday. So it's a bittersweet day. It's a, it's a bitter day because I got to deal with knowing that, you know, 
the death of him and then it's my birthday. So yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm trying to make the best of it and, and thankful that uh, you know, Lord bless me with another year. So yeah, I'm um, letting y'all know Sorry. if y'all can get a hold of Regina King or Queen Latifah, even Miss Lynn Whitfield or Angela Bassett or even Jada Pickett, um, Smith. You know, it'll make my birthday because if, if I can't get my my or chair. maybe Jay. Anybody I got, get, anybody I got get, you. Anybody I get got a hold you. of Jay? I got you. I got get you. Get a hold already. of Jay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. So I'm just saying. Yeah. You know. I know you wouldn't know how to act. Yeah, I would. I probably, probably fall out, but yeah, no, I would. No, 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 you wouldn't. <laughs> you say you say that now, but I probably would. No, 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 no. I know you. You wouldn't know how to act. Because, oh, most definitely. When you have those individuals that you name because yeah. of their energy and their presence. And, and Viola before, Davis. Before you, yeah, you're not. There's no way you're going to just be calm. I know you. You're not going to. Yeah. No. You and get Octavia excited. Spencer. If you, yeah. if you get excited and you know how you are when you met Riri, then to meet somebody of that status who you've been wanting to meet all the time, you're not, you're yeah. not going you're, you're to be calm, cool, and collected. Yeah. I'm just saying. There's no way you can tell. I can. I ain't like I'm asking me Janet Jackson. That was that, that's me. That damn well impossible. That's me. I'm just saying. I need to meet Janet. Ah, <laughs> uh, what would you say to them, Swain? I don't know. That that, 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 <laughs> that no, she's gonna be like, baby, I I I need you to be on my side. So when I don't say anything, you can talk for me. She gonna use me. Yeah, they be like, I'm be like. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Do you use these? <laughs> do, do you use these? <laughs> At the old house? <laughs> the old, old house? <laughs> I'm just saying. I ain't never met a celebrity before, so I don't know. I don't know how. But it depends on... Some celebrities can make you feel comfortable. I don't know. I'm just saying. Some did, can make you feel comfortable. Did y'all get them names? If, did y'all get them names? Tell me if y'all got the names. Who, who got what name? Did yes, you look, Lucky Xavier. They go Capricorn the is very nice people. They go chair. She come to get a shirt. Open the door for her. Because uh, the thing is on lock. This, uh, she can't call. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's trying to call. Look, she's trying to call. Post she can get her booty in here. She can't. She can't uh she can come in here. No, I said she can't. She's still in the car. She's trying to call. Come on, girl. <laughs> Look, she's so country. Come on in here, girl. Regina King, Angela Bassett, Queen of the TV. Okay, thank you, Tia. See, somebody pay. Don't forget, Lynn Whitfield. Oh, Viola hi. Davis. There you go. There y'all go. <laughs> Say hi to my, say hi to my people. Hello. Hi. That's Terry out there. Terry, hello. Hi. These are my best friends. Take a picture. Wait. 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 Oh, they got it. <laughs> what do you mean? Somebody, Somebody got it. <laughs> hello. Oh, man. Go get that shirt, bird. Her shirt's right here. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll stop by Dana right quick. She, uh, she finna um, mm -hmm. go to the... Oh, she got it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tony say hello. Hey, hi. Tony. Hey, say hi. They got their red and black on. That's my color. Hey, it's in the hey, house. Hey, hey, hey. You like it? Hey. All right. Um, no. You sure? No. Terry, hair on fleek. Hey, Terry, they say your hair on fleek. Come here. Oh, I told oh, her her hair was pretty. They, they say your hair on fleek. Come on, come around this way. Come on, around this way. Come on, around this way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, bye. Hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, I want y'all to see the back too, honey. Yeah, she's gonna see the back too. Her, her yeah, hair is always like, late. She said slow-mo. She said slow-mo. 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 She's me, baby. <laughs> she gave me that, what oh, is that, that 360? <laughs> her hair is always on fleek. Yeah. You yeah. ain't gonna never catch your hair not done. No, I have hey, to get it done. Hi. Uh, I miss you guys. I like earrings. Those are pretty. I'm getting ready to go to the side. Hey, oh, when's my birthday? Oh, the 26th, baby. Yeah, okay. Just want to see. Got, I just see what I put on. I don't know. I want I'm yeah, you changed it. You changed I did, it. but I was trying to hit the one and I hit the two. I didn't even know. I'm glad you called me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm 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 and then, um, okay. So you say it's not too small. No. Yeah. Here, put it back in the bag so you don't get anything on it. No, I can wear this thing on the tea. You what? 
Petite. Oh, oh petite fine. Look, look, we are petite fine. Okay, yes. all right. Look, look, mm -hmm. look at these two. Look. Petite fine. fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Um, so, y'all. So, y'all got the names. But not, not, I would, I would, I would love yeah, that's what got, to, said that. you know, somebody, oh, yeah, one of them. Like that. Yeah, my, my, my but anyway, bye, T. Bye. Love you guys. Wait, um. Call my name out on there. Hey. Said, don't call her name out on no, there. I said, call my name. Oh, call my okay, name. Okay, hey. What drive are you going to? At the Casey Hall. Uh, the Rito. Where at home? Casey Hall. Right here. Okay. 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 I want you to do my makeup, but she's not busy right Yeah, well, you sure right. Bye. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, baby, they wrote all the names down. So, uh, uh, a couple of them got the name, and Miss Turner got the other name. I'm about to play with y'all. And I'm just saying, you know. Swain, do you have cash up? Yeah, it's on my bio. It's on my bio. And if you don't find it on my bio, if you got to get Vimo, that's on all, if, any... Cash up, you got to have swing therapy. Have you checked out the app where you can pay celebrities to wish people happy birthday? No, nah, that's all right. It ain't that important. I'm trying to get my chair. I'm trying <laughs> to get my chair. But, yeah. um, That video, about six videos down, it have my... Uh, my uh, well, Miss Tia put your cash app out there. Somebody just put the cash oh, okay. app right there. Okay, and everything. The other Thank ones you, are Tia. just... The other ones is just swing therapy. Yeah. I think Cash Up is the only one got the dollar sign in front of it. Yeah. So, um, but I appreciate everybody that has contributed. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I, I just, mm, I, I don't know. I'm waiting nine days. Hopefully, I'm waiting nine days. Hmm? But, you know, I'm good. If I don't get it, I use the money to pay bills. So, it will be going to a worthy cause, Okay. I sent a tracking number. Okay, thank you. Um, so appreciate, it. appreciate it. But what else you got, babe? What else you I got? Mean, hey, we just gonna play it by ear on your birthday next weekend, and your wife is pretty, and I love you, Swing. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, you, thank you. So I appreciate y'all getting in here and, and kicking it with us, and not getting you know offended on some things that we talk about. We talk about things that that we've experienced and what we've been through. That's my dad's birthday, the one that passed on the twenty third. That's his birthday. So that's that's a double double whammy for this week. I mean this this month. Yeah. But uh. So um. It's cool. Eight and a half days. It's cool too. That day, whatever day, I know it's gonna be the All day I when know get is here. around this time last year. Yeah, yeah. She made my birthday last year. She did. She made I'm my birthday this last year, year too. You made my birthday every year from here on out. I better. Yeah, you. That ain't no problem. Do. Do. do it. That's what I do. Birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Kwanzaa, St. Patty Day, Kwanzaa, Labor Day, Kwanzaa, Veterans Day, Kwanzaa, and Kwanzaa, President's Day. Look at she love y'all. Hey, did y'all like the videos today? The videos that we did? Who wouldn't love being around you? Understand, I got some people that hate. Who I got some people that, that, that don't like me. And, and for, I mean, I'm just, <laughs> whew, I don't know. I don't know. But it's only a limited few what? that have the privilege of being around us. Yes. Yeah. So, but it's, it's, it's okay, though. It's okay. Um, yes, videos were great. Yes, I, we enjoyed doing our videos. Did y'all like our Adidas? Turn, turn the light on today. Did y'all see our Adidas today that we got on? Y'all, I'm trying to get Adidas to sponsor Ooh. us. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Boom, somebody take a picture. <laughs> uh, they need to take a picture and send it to Adidas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but y'all, we ain't going to stay out here too long. We got to go get something to eat and, and I go to work tomorrow. So, I'm not going to be on live. She said too late. 
I'm not gonna be on live tomorrow. Um, we probably won't get back on live till when? Uh, Thursday. Thursday. I, I don't want to get back on live till Thursday. Just catch up your when you share. Let me know. We just have to play okay. right here because this one right here should get up and then be like, I, I got, I got, I got still one live. Huh? And, but I no, need no, to make no, her, I need to make her hang it. Swing. I need to make her stick it out to actually her birthday. What? Not talk to him to my birthday? Well, I mean, like, not to your birthday, but I need you to stick it out as long as you. I'm trying to do some things. I can't do you with you getting on there and some people running their mouths. Oh. You're not okay. helping any at all. But they, if we, it's my, man, I'm, wait. Thursday? Can I can at least talk to him Thursday? Thursday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Because we celebrate my birthday this weekend. Right, my birthday, right. My birthday is actually at Monday. So, we celebrated my birthday this weekend. This coming up weekend, yeah. What, what day? Friday or Saturday? Which day? We I Saturday? don't know. It just depends on how I feel. So, what you talking about? Because so I'm, I'm trying to figure out when I can get on live with You can get on live Thursday. I get on, I, she said I can get on live Thursday. So yeah, she said I can get on live Thursday. But you're going to be on live with me. Because I'm going to be driving. And you going to be on live with them. I can't see while I'm driving. Like we did. When we did the other time. What? What, Kenya? Kenya says swing. Guess what? 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 Swing, stop it. Fall back. Somebody says swing. Stop it. Fall back. What? Tell me. So, if you get the money for your chair, will you order it? Oh, yes. And show us when it comes? Most yes. definitely. She's, yeah. trying to, she's trying to figure out how to actually do that. She's trying to predict when she's going to get the chair and, and, you know, so it's all in works. We're trying to get that to, I'm tr trying to. Let me know when your package comes. We, we'll let you know. We'll let you know. We got to have a tracking number and things. And She's not going to listen, Red. Well, I'm not listening. What, what I'm not doing? No, they're saying don't be hard-headed. I'm not being hard-headed. What I did? Nothing. I ain't do nothing. They're just saying follow instructions. I am. That's why I asked when can I get back on live. No, she can get on. This is the problem. So, yeah. But you going to be talking because I'm going to be driving. Uh, her cash app is uh, dollars, is, um, the dollar, sign. dollar sign swing therapy. I'm listening. I sure appreciate y'all. <laughs> sure. But yeah. Y'all, I got in it. I got in. We went to. Oh, I see <laughs> exactly. We got a whooping. <laughs> Y'all, well, we we went to test a chair out yesterday. Ooh, and it feels so good. It feels so good. Let me tell you, I got video footage. It of her. feels so good. I mean, Ooh, I was gonna say, can I show it to them? But huh? I was gonna see if I can show them video footage, but I can't without you. Can't, out of that. Yeah, you got to get out first. Oh, it feels so good. But you know, hey. She needs a uh, 17, 20, no, 17, 17, 94. 17, 94. Yeah. 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 17, 94. So we're not getting back on live until Thursday. I go to work tomorrow. So we can't get back on live till Thursday. Okay. I'm going to miss y'all dearly. Um, hey, Selena. How you doing, Selena? Hey, Selena. Hey, Selena. Hey, Miss Diddy. I thought that what was Which last video? My last video or her last video? She said your last video was the bomb. Her, mine or her? That's she the one had that dress going. Y'all, y'all saw that dress she had on? Y'all saw that dress she had? Let's see. Have you cared of a green road right over here? Oh, okay, okay. That's all right, Smitty. But hey, I'm all right. <laughs> he said one of y'all together. Oh, which one? We did what? two. Did what? She said the last. Oh, the last one we oh. did together with you. The, the talking one. I guess the talking one. All the dancing one. All the dancing one. We did a couple of them. I don't know. The faces you make are too heavy. Hey, Miss Turner, I'd be serious. Miss Turner, hey, this ain't for play. <laughs> 
I'm gonna miss you. Let me tell you, until you're in a serious conversation with her and trying to get your point across, then you're gonna be like, I need you to stop making those faces. And then you, they're not gonna be so cute to you no more, Miss Turner. Let me tell you. I used to think the same thing. I've been trying to get out of trouble. Conversation. And then when she's sitting up here going, Um, let me uh correct this person, Priscilla. Uh, Miss Lady, I'm not asking for money. Hey, uh, uh, don't uh, no, I, uh, uh, let, let me talk to this motherfucker right here because so she understand. Um, Miss Priscilla, ain't nobody asking for anything. I I said that if people ask me what I want for my birthday, I'm not gonna say no bullshit. If I'm, I'm going to say what I want for my birthday. And if they so choose to contribute to help get my birthday gift, that's what they so choose to do. I am not asking anybody for anything. Let's make that clear. I don't need nobody to pay shit for me. Okay? This is why I don't ask nobody for, no, for bullshit ass people like you. Okay, now goodbye. All right, now. Somebody said get her. Yeah. So. Because uh, people get in here with that bullshit. You know, it's a different than asking and donating. That's two different things. So, Somebody said, um, in that corner. They said, who said finisher? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I hate when people do that. Because there's a difference than asking for some money and people donating for a birthday gift. That's different. When you ask me what I want, I'm going to tell you what I want. Don't well, give me. no different than anybody when somebody say, yeah. what do you want for your birthday? Then, you know, what do you want for Christmas? You tell yeah. them what you that, want. They don't put that I mean, like I'm asking. Man, look here. That's the quickest way to piss me off and hey, make me feel like I gotta ask you for some shit. Ooh, that's, that's the whole purpose of why I did that last video. When I said, maybe. Me... like this one, like. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I, that's the whole purpose. The reason why I did that video today. When I say people have taught me how to depend on myself. That's why I depend solely depend on myself. Can't nobody get in here and tell me they did nothing to throw it back up in my damn face. Shit. Okay, with that being said, y'all. <laughs> y'all don't be mad at me. She started it. <laughs> she started it. Shit. It was hard. Leah was like, Leah was, like, Leah was fast. She was like, too late. But she, baby went unmute that. Man, I had no. I knew that shit. Good boy. Get your ass up out of here. Shit. But. Oh, man. <laughs> so y'all check out, check out the videos on base pay. I think I'll need to You made me do there. a J-Rock just that damn fast. Oh, shit. You didn't say, did you say your mouth? Yeah, I said, let me get this motherfucker right oh, quick. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Somebody said you need to go to the corner. Hold on, let me get the rice. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said you had a J Rock moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mama, she started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Come here messing with me. You said, I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> come here messing with me. Don't come here messing with me. Yeah. Damn it. They're going to hate, but you know, that's just, that's, that's life. Yeah, now let me go so I can go feed us today. So let's go get some to eat. Close? Uh, 8 o'clock, I believe. Okay. It's already 7. Okay. So yeah, we finna get up right here. We gotta uh, go eat. Find something to eat. Yeah. So y'all. Check ain't... out the videos on base page. Yeah. Check out videos on my page. So Everybody said... go to JLaw51 so... and uh, follow. Yes. Like. And, and share, yeah. Somebody said, at least you didn't call her B. Uh-uh. My mama, I, I feel it. I feel my mama in my spirit. I can't use that word. <laughs> uh, mm, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <yeah>. mm, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't call Becky now. Oh, Becky, no, no. We Becky. got a cool Becky on yeah, there. Yeah, we got a cool Becky. Never yeah. mind. I take she that hit back. You first. Yeah, she hit me first. Yeah, so <laughs> Thursday, y'all. Thursday. So till then, get in the comments. And let's, you know, say hi, bye. Christy, if you still on here, good to meet you today. Yeah, it was, it we was met blessed. Christy at uh, when well, we was having breakfast. Yes. We can't say where, but we met. We was having she breakfast. She was so polite. So, Look, right, tell her, no, tell her what you thought. No, tell her how you know this, sir. No, she, she was over there. She was going this. She said, well, when the, we, and I was me like, and Babe was in the middle of a conversation. And, and I was we like, yeah, about, come on. And you. And Babe, because no, you did. I think she said, come on. <laughs> So like, me and her was in the middle of a conversation when she did like this, like, come on. I said, oh, she about to whoop somebody's ass. Because you know when you, when you about to get into somebody, you'd be like, yeah, come on, bring it. Uh, so when she did that, come on. I was like, I, oh, shit. I wasn't right there, man. I was telling her to come because yeah. I know what she was doing. And she was trying not to be noticed but seen at the same time. Yeah. And I when I looked over there, I kind of looked. See, because I thought her husband.
husband was somebody I knew. He, right. He, he, he was looking like, at you. No, oh. no, no, no. He looked like somebody I knew. I thought he was a guy named uh, Tony. Uh-huh. Tony that I knew. And so when I looked over there, I saw her looking at me doing this. And I was like, yeah, I, yeah, come on, you know. <laughs> yeah, so then she, when she oh, came over, she's like, I, my, my husband told me, don't come over here, bother you, don't embarrass him. But she wanted to take pictures. And so, which, since she was so respectful, she didn't yeah. want to bother us. When she got to talking, we told her, I said, sit down. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, no, we're like, have a seat. So how is everything? You know, how, how's it going? She was so nice. She yeah. was so nice. Yeah. She was so nice. So I need to post a picture because she posted a picture. So I'm going to post a picture on my page so y'all can see her, yeah. her yeah. lovely face. And then she said that we actually, we, we actually inspired her yeah. and her son's father to get back together. Aww. So we like, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So um, we appreciate you so much, yeah. and thanks hey, for loving and supporting us. Now, what's user ninety say her name was? Was it Gracie? Who user ninety? What you say your name was? User ninety, uh, Gracie. Gra- what's nah, Grace? No, your name was something else. What? Ga- Gail. 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 That's that it. Gail. Yeah, Gail. Hey, see, I remember. <laughs> yep, yep. I remember. Yeah. So it's good oh, running to people like that in this city, you know. And they're they, nice. And they're nice. Yeah. They're not, you know, they don't come over and just. And just stare like this. I'd be like, wow. Yeah, she's very talkative. Yeah, she was nice. She was nice. Because when, when she sat down, she said, so yeah. And, um, <laughs> we're a cute self. I had fun. I did. Yeah. She, just, she just lit me up that day. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, come on, take a picture. So, yeah. um, Lily said she can't meet, can't wait to meet us. Yeah, well, meet. Hey. Now you like you wear buckle five. I'm probably end up picking you up. Hey, hey, Miss, uh, Miss, Miss Ro, Rochelle, fifty five, fifty five. You know you wrong for that when you did that video. What's the video she did? Um, um that's Rosalind. Yeah, Rosalind, when she, when she did that, she did. Oh my God, that video. Talk about she her grandkids. Did. Um, she said you can't get to my granddaughters without getting through me, and she did it. <laughs> No, and then the other one that she did, the rap one that she did. Yeah, you said, go ahead, though. <laughs> You're hilarious. I yeah. need to go back and like and comment on that because it came yeah. up. I just heard it this morning in the middle. She said, but watch yourself. Before you get beside yourself. Oh, wait. Go ahead, though. We fell out. Yeah. We fell out. I love, but I love, I love her. I love your energy. And you're yeah. just the cutest thing. You are just so cute. So cute. <laughs> Oh man, so what's going on, Miss Joy? Hey, Miss Joy. She said, Thank you, guys. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, so y'all, we're gonna get out of here so we can go get something to eat. Yeah, we're gonna rest get up. So, I'm gonna so you guys, mind. you know, babe, we're gonna be celebrating Swing's birthday. Now, her birthday is July the 26th, which is next Monday. Yeah, next, next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. The Monday after the 26th. Uh, but we're going to celebrate her birthday next weekend while we're at the palace. Is it that Friday or Saturday? I don't know yet. I will get. I will let you guys know. However, okay. go ahead and get your birthday videos ready. Yeah. Put, them in, put them in your drafts. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, you know, do a birthday video I'm just something? telling people if they're going to do one, to do, go ahead and get it out the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, go ahead and you know, do what y'all do. Yeah, go do we it. appreciate everything that y'all do. Yeah, go do a birthday video for me. Hey, y'all, y'all want to see I, me cry, huh? Y'all want to see my ugly I, cry, huh? I, I know. I know who. I know who's going to. I know. I know for a fact. Who, can you? I know for a fact Kenya got some. Kenya come through. And Kenya <laughs> come through. She, she's so um, creative with hers. It makes you make us cry every freaking time, Kenya. Yeah. Every freaking time, don't she? She makes Man, us cry. Sneakers, we don't let, don't let get. What you say? Info. You being sneaky? <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, no. I don't go snooping now. I don't go snooping. Yes, your party cry if you want to. It's my party and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Hey, yeah. You would cry too if it happened to hey. you. Uh, you ready? It's my birthday. I can do what I like. I can do what I like. Hey, I'm ready. <laughs> I just died laughing at your duet. Which one? Miss Jones, which one? Probably that one with you, uh... The dance, probably the dance one. Draco. Soldier. Make it clap, clap, clap. Make it clap, clap. Ah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Repent from yours. Oh, 
Chloe, we got another one. And we got another one. Oh, Jesus loves you. Whew, bless your heart. Bless it. Everybody bless their heart. Everybody bless it. Bless, bless it. it. Who is that? Yeah, bless yeah, it. Yeah, boy. Bless it. Okay, here we go. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we, she said, so y'all be good. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then the thing about it is when you do those videos for us, we watch them multiple times like it goes weeks where we're just watching them and watching the three or four times a day night, yeah. and then in the morning when we get up the night before we go to bed in the middle of the day and then or she'll say why why are you smelling like that why are you looking at your phone like that and then i'll be like i'm sure that i'm watching the video or vice versa so yeah we <laughs> yeah. make us cry yeah we make us cry so and it's priceless so what day y'all let, let me see if y'all paid attention what day we getting on live and who I want to meet for my birthday? <laughs> I just want to see if they paid attention. I'm just trying to see something. As soon as I see it, we're going to say bye, baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, Thursday? Okay. Thursday? Okay. Who Now, who I want to meet for my birthday? Thursday live. And then it's going to be after probably five, y'all, when I when we do Viola Davis. Okay. So <laughs> all right. All right. Y'all paying attention. Come on. Come on with it. Regina King, Jay Queen, and Taraji. I forgot all about Taraji. Yes. Um, yes. Lynn Whitfield. Yes. Okay. They just saying. I don't want to meet him. I'm going to go watch his uh, Raising Cane, though. Yes. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Angela Bassett. Y'all on it. Y'all y'all be paying attention. But tell them bye, baby. Miss J. Miss J. I got Miss J right here. It's Miss J that said it. Miss J. <laughs> yeah. Miss J right here. Yeah. Angela yeah. Bassett. Yeah. Ms. But anyway. J already said it earlier. Ms.